Now, I know he does have a better card already available in the game, but with Aubameyang getting his first in form of Eve 21, I had to try it out. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So this is the side we're going to be using him in, 4-1-2-1-2, standard Premier League side, 4-star weak foot, 4-star skills on this item, and a pretty nice um, bunch of in-game attributes. Shooting looks really, really solid, and um, passing looks pretty average, and the dribbling looks okay in some areas, but with him being a tall striker, that agility not being too high could be a problem. We're going to use the finish camp style on him, and uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into some games, so uh, let go. Okay, that's uh, a pretty solid team. Into the feet of Aubameyang, going to try and find some space, gets around his man, and that's not a bad effort of Aubameyang, whose skill move initially took him off the ball. He then won it back, but then Cannavaro just nabs it. Fred. Nice ball into a Bamiang, but unfortunately, Cannavaro gets a touch on it and it ricochets off the forward. Here we go then. Nice, nice. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Nice tackle there by Kante. I don't, that pass was not initially, what is going on? These passes are not going fully where I want them, but then a Bamiang does that. What a finesse into the top corner. Absolute top bins. Nice, nice. Here we go, here's an opportunity. Can we bag the equalizer here? It's going to be a left footed strike, oh wow. Nice. Done really well to keep the ball there, to be fair. I do eventually lose it, though. We have really grown into this game. And it's kind of showing, okay, I wanted that on the right foot, but uh, he just wouldn't cut back inside. Nice. Good bit of play. Is he still onside? Please. Oh, he's just off. That's unfortunate. Nice. Bamiang does well to stay on his feet there, but oh, wow. Varane just so aggressive. Did well to stay on his feet initially, but then on that second attempt, just got wiped out. Nice, good bit of play there from Aubameyang. Rashford does well there as well, but unfortunately the return pass, not the best, and there's half time. Nice, we like that. Oh, beating his man too. Can we get back on the inside? Good finesse. Oh, that went in, that would have been mad. Aubameyang who's going to have to take on Varane. Beats him eventually, gets the finesse away, and look at that. Leaves the keeper just stood still as he finesses that into the back of the net. What a finish. Good bit of play here. Really good bit of play. Balls into the box. Chance for Aubameyang. Oh, we should be scoring that. Went straight to the keeper. Went in anywhere else. It goes in the back of the net. Great run. Fantastic positioning. And, uh, yeah, should have scored. Really, really should have. Nice from Rashford. Sets it up for Aubameyang, who, positionally, fantastic. Just reacts really quickly. Gets into the right place at the right time and completes his hat-trick. And helps us turn this game completely around. Nice. Quick one, two, to get around Varane, who is so quick and probably will catch up to us if we're not careful, but we're going to come into... Oh, what a tackle that ends up being. In fact, no, it does not. It is a penalty. Now, can we put this game to bed? Can we give us a comfortable lead? Yes, we can. We dink it down the middle with Aubameyang. And not only has he got hat-trick now, but he's got himself a fourth. Oh, what a tackle from Bruno. What a tackle from Bruno. And now Aubameyang, can he really put the nail in the coffin? No, good save from Lunin. I probably should have gone across goal there, but um, I thought we could maybe sneak it in at the nearer post. Here's Aubameyang, go for the flick to beat the man, then hit the finesse. Good save from the keeper. There we go, nice. Good feet from Aubameyang to put Rashford through at referee. Nice, great one too. With him and Bruno, what is he doing? He's playing five at the back, by the way, and he's just fouling me constantly now. I like this opportunity. Pepe whips it into the back sticker. Bamiyan gets on the end of it, and look at that. I just had a feeling he was going to make the late run there, and he executed it perfectly. Put the header across the goal, and just like that, we take an early lead. Nice. Okay, this is a bit of an electric start, but um, although he is quick, he is not that quick. All right, come on, control the ball. We know his dribbling isn't the best. His actual ball control is all right. It's the agility, and with him being quite a tall player, his building game just means that he's not going to feel that fantastic on the ball, even if he had 99 agility. We love the early one too, because that's just going to set a player like Aubameyang free because he's got so much pace about him. Pass on the inside though was not great though. Nice win of the header there by Rashford and that has actually allowed Aubameyang to come right through, hits the finesse and that ends up in the back of the net. His finesses have been so good for me. Nice. Oh, I was a bit worried there that Mane wasn't going to get the ball away. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know whether to mark Aubameyang or come across. And eventually we do get the shot away. Oh... I probably messed it up by trying to do too much there, but uh would have been a nice goal. Here we go. That's what we want. The ball straight through the middle. Can he get there? Oh, the keepers just took him out. Surely that's a foul. I mean, eventually we score, but surely initially that was a foul. Bamiang just 
got straight through, keeper knocked him off the ball, but uh, eventually gets a tap in. Well worked to go in the end, but um, yeah, an odd one. Now, in terms of in-game passing on this Aubameyang card, um, I've got to comment on this. His right foot seems absolutely fine. Like, is he a master distributor? No. But his right foot passing is actually quite solid. But his left foot passing, for me, has actually been pretty horrific. Um, that pass right there was pretty poor, but that was all me. But, like, in general, even though he has got that four-star weak foot and we're about to concede here, um, yeah, that left foot just lets him down when it comes to passing, which is a bit frustrating because his right foot is quite good. And with him having that four-star weak foot, I did think his left uh, foot would be quite good because for shooting, his left foot's fine. For the flick, we love that because it looks really cool. And to stay and save goes into the path of Ribery, who does wrap up the game. Nice. Oh, could be a good early start here. Is he onside? He is just. Here's a chance. Is he going to bring the keeper? He's not, but that's absolutely fine by me. We will take full advantage with the finesse. Once again, Abamyang using his main asset, which is his pace to break away and uh, ultimately getting us off to another perfect start. Nice. Onside. Check. Shot power. Check. Goal. Check. I actually thought he was offside initially there. That's why I panicked a bit. To the path of Aubameyang. He's going to dink that ball through with the... Oh, nice pass. Rashford. Oh, good effort. As you can see, not having much possession. He's set Aubameyang up. Oh, he's hit the bar. Off the Denver. This just burns his man. Can we get on the inside? Oh, he's left one on the floor. Oh, it would have been a nice mix up with Aubameyang here. Gets the return ball. Not the most amazing of through balls, but uh, it did the job. As Rashford cuts inside, sends it off to Mane. I actually aim for Aubameyang, but that'll do just as good. Okay, so in summary, what are my thoughts on this card? Look, it's a decent item. It's pretty good, but at this stage of the game, this card is just a bit behind at the power curve. The dribbling for me just holds it back compared to other you know, elite level attackers, but um, the positioning and finishing are outstanding, and obviously the pace is a huge benefit to this item. But is it worth its current cost? No, it's just not. And ultimately, the card just isn't good value for money, especially when, like I've already said, there is a better version of a Bamiang already in the game, and it's a dynamic card that can get upgraded too. So, uh, unfortunately, I would advise giving the inform a miss and going for that card, but if you get this item as a red pick, I think it will have some decent impact for you. But um, I think it would be more of a sub than a starter for most people's teams, even at this stage that dribbling yeah just not too great anyway that's my review hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one